Bilge Friedlander was a Turkish artist whose work used the most basic forms and shapes in the world to ask complex questions. An exhibition curated by her daughter, Myra Friedlander, looks at her journey. Lines and squares, they seem so simple, but they provoked many questions for Turkish artist Bilge Friedlander. Were they created by man? What do they say about human beings? about our place in the world. The exhibition Words, Numbers, Lines in Istanbul takes visitors through Friedlinder's journey to answer those questions through her artwork. In this show you'll see Bilge's examination of the square and the line and how it expresses our human presence inside nature which is something she continues to study until the end of her life. It's the bedrock of her work. Friedlinder's research included the infinite possibilities of a line, a torn line, and a square that defies gravity. She has this definition of mutations, mutated lines, and she makes games in perception of, of the viewer. How do you, where, what is the life of a, um, lifespan of a line, for example. Where does it start? Where does it end? What is its connection to horizon? So how can I continue a line with another material? So there is this kind of research that she was uh, deeply engaged in her studio. In her later works, Friedlinder decided to explore nature by itself, untouched by man. She shared her findings through a book. She had a story to tell, but she didn't do it through words, but blank paper folded over sand. Book was important to her as human telling about human to other humans, such as the cave paintings. So for her, not the form necessarily. I mean, today we produce the books in the form that we all know, but human beings started producing these books or um, this um, um, source of information to other humans in different forms. So here in this expanded book, as he calls, in this um, installation, she creates a book that um, uh, sort of tells about her experience uh, by this Aita River. Words, Numbers, Lines is the first solo exhibition of Friedlinder's work since her death in 2000. It can be viewed at the Arta Art Space until January the 15th. <laughs>